Over 100 volunteers dug on the Roman Villa site at Boxford this August over a period of 10 days with the Boxford History Society and Cotswold Archaeology Group to uncover the 4th century mosaic, which in itself is a major achievement. The story on the mosaic is one of Greek mythology and is the only one of three of its kind across the world. The others lie in Spain and there is one in Damascus. It the story is about 1400 years old before it was put on the floor. It's one of the earliest Greek myths and it's about the um, prince Pelops who comes from Asia Minor to what is now the Peloponnese in Greece to ask for the hand of the princess Hippodamia. And um, in order to win her, he has to win a chariot race against her father um, Ina Maas, who um, executes any suitor that doesn't win the race. And 13 have gone before, and every time the race takes place, the king cheats by putting the princess in the opponent's chariot, so he goes slower. And once they, once they are um, defeated, he cuts their heads off and nails them up in the palace. But um, um, Pelops, uh, bribes the charioteer, the king's charioteer, to substitute the linchpin of the king's chariot with a wax one. So, of course, as the king's galloping round, the chariot falls to pieces and he gets killed. It is believed that the villa was owned by a bailiff or lord who entertained in the room with the mosaic, but because of the floor's equine theme, it may also have been a hunting lodge. The rest of the central panel is devoted to the hero Bellerophon, who is um, linked to Pelops by the fact that the god Poseidon was Pelops' lover before he, he came over to um, marry um, the princess. So the brothers together defeat a monster called the Chimera, which is also on the, the floor. But apart from that, the borders are absolutely smothered in decoration and um, things killing other things and um, um, triumphs all the way round. So I've called this pavement the triumph of Pelots, Pelos and Bellerophon. But the most important thing is, of course, that we've added something really amazing to our early art history. You know, this is something um, out of the ordinary that we can put in um, the fourth century AD. And um, it's almost like uh, a manuscript illumination of the time and I reckon that whoever laid it was shown a manuscript and got his ideas from that. The only other mosaic that I know of with those telemen in is in the Vatican and um, was found in Italy in, in 1741. Approximately over 3,000 people came to the Open Day on Saturday the 31st of August and donated £4,500, which will be used to conserve the finds from the dig. At the very beginning, uh, one of our number noticed a lump of uh, Roman tessera on a field. So, I mean, having had it verified as being a Roman, she then very um, quickly brought a sackful, really, around and it was obvious we've got something in the way of a large building so when of later on then we managed to lead various excavations um, and three Roman sites in the in the parish of Boxford all starting in 2012 so we've been going a little while since then and this was the last one and we thought it was a modest villa wasn't going to really be any big surprises but there was when we when the JCB pulled the topsoil away and we could see the tessera underneath around the edge. It's still a way to go. It, yeah. It's been covered up this week. Are you sad? I am sad, but if you leave the, the mosaic open for you know a week or two, it will start to deteriorate, so I will be actually quite happy and more relaxed once it's backfilled. This is a once-in-a-lifetime find, not only for the UK, but across the world. Ali Monjak for that TV.